Hey everybody, just a quick look today at a reverb trick that I really like to use. Sometimes in a mix I find it's hard to get the reverb just in the right exact pocket. And so there's a couple things you can do. One of them is this thing I'm going to show you today. And I'm using Chromaverb and I've got just a couple tracks here. Let me play just how that sounds right now. And so I have the chroma verb set up on a bus, bus seven, and then it's coming out on this auxiliary channel right here. I've got the chroma. I put a channel EQ, which we're going to use in just a minute. And then I've got a multimeter, which I'm just using to look at what I'm doing. And then I've got that drum kit sent out to the chroma verb. So the chroma verb itself, I'm using the smooth space. And I have under details, I have a really big high pass filter here. This is just clearing out some of the, the low frequencies for the kick since I'm doing it all at once. Let me play this for you. You can hear it's pretty subtle right now. We could turn this up if we wanted to. It's down over here, actually. So let's do. So maybe a little bit more than I need to, but it's helping with the low frequencies because I just don't want to make it too boomy through all of that. Now, the other thing that I do, and this is the main thing I want to talk about, is this width right here. So width is going to spread it out in the stereo image a little bit. But it's still, if we look at our multimeter here, anything that's vertical on this is going to still be in the center. It still has a lot of common material between both speakers. So one of the things I do sometimes, especially when I'm having a hard time getting it to really fit, is I'll put on the channel EQ and I'm going to process this with the mid only. Now this allows you to break the sound apart, the mid being anything that's common to both channels and the side being anything that's different in both channels. So you could use this like with a mid side microphone technique, but I'm gonna do processing mid only and I'm gonna pull this down. Now you're gonna see right now, everything is out of the, the center here and everything now is just in the sides. And we can do it just all the way, or we can do some variants in between. Here's what this sounds like with the actual drum machine. So you end up with this reverb, which is instead of covering the whole panning spectrum, the whole left and right, you have it just now pushed out to the sides more. And then the center is really focusing on other more important or just different parts of your mix. So it's a great way to take that reverb and change the positioning of it so that you're leaving a bigger hole in the middle. Now, is this the right way to do it or the only way? Of course not. This is just one of the ways and one of the tools you can use to get that reverb just how you want it. Okay, that's all I want to show you today. Hope this made sense. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Of course, subscribe. And I hope you're having a great week.